Hey guys, so today is a nice exercise for some entry level sort of um, breathing rehab. And by breathing, we're talking about the mechanical aspects of the breath. And while you can also train some of the physiological aspects like tolerance to carbon dioxide and um, building up um, expiration uh, sort of endurance, what we're focused a bit more on today is actually can you build up your breath flexibility and then can you start to add some challenges to it? So for anyone that's got some breathing dysfunctions, this is a nice place to start. Okay, so for this exercise, you need a bench or a couch, something to put your feet on. Um, it doesn't have to be as high as your needs, but you are looking for something that feels like your back is fairly relaxed. And so the goal here is to set yourself up first and kind of like a specific position. And for some of you, this might be quite challenging. You might need to add a little pillow under your head. It depends on how your individual tensions have developed with your injuries or over a lifetime. But what we're looking at, you can see how my ribs are sort of flaring up this way. You're gonna try and pull them down. But this isn't that cue that you get, say with Pilates, where we're not trying to pull the belly button into the ground. I just wanna pull my upper ribs here. I just wanna pull those down a little bit. I actually wanna maintain a little bit of a gap in my lower back. So we keep that kind of S shape. So my ribs are down. I wanna make sure my shoulders touch the ground as well. So if my hand was back here, I can squish my hand into the ground. Now, you might be here doing those things and already feeling like, man, I'm building so much tension up. So if that's the case, then don't try so hard. Just do a gentle sort of pull in that direction or maybe put a pillow under the head and see if that sort of takes away some of the, the effort needed to be in the position. Once you're here though, you're gonna get your hands and you're gonna put thumb into your lower back, fingers on the tummy, and you're gonna try and breathe in 360 like a balloon. So as I breathe in, I can feel my thumbs being pushed out and my fingers being pushed out by the air. And then as I exhale, I'm feeling a constriction like a corset. Thumbs are going in and my fingers are going in. And you're just gonna do some inhales and some exhales here. The duration's up to you. You could do like a four seconds in, eight seconds out. You could do two seconds in, four seconds out. Um, you could be doing specific breathing ratios, but just start with the way being expirations a little bit longer. Usually double's a good place to start though. To challenge things a little bit, to add a level of coordination to it, you can lift one or two of the legs off. And what that means is now you have to stabilize, keep your legs up while you can still breathe in that 360 uh, direction. And so this might be the part where you feel like you start to shake a little bit. And so if that's the case, just come back to where you were before and be heels rested. If that's too easy and you want a bit more of a challenge, then bring one heel up and you're like, yeah, no problem. Then go two heels up and just start to see, oh, maybe I can get five cycles of the breath length that I've chosen. Um, and then you come back, you have a rest, and then you go again. So this isn't necessarily meant to be a, a relaxative exercise. You may get some relaxation from it, but the actual goal right now is to build breath flexibility while coordinating it with other movements. But we don't want it to be a maximal effort thing. So you're not necessarily at one end of the spectrum trying to relax fully, but then you're also not at the other end of the spectrum where you're trying to work out fully. Um, give this a go or check out our article which also goes into a little more depth on breath flexibility and, and why it's useful for you. Um, but this is kind of your building blocks. This is where you start off with building the ability to have a platform to create movement from as a baby. Um, so really useful for a lot of people. It's something that they can reclaim quite easily if you just have a little bit of diligence with it and chip away. Um, and the effects of getting that breath flexibility back um, are quite relieving. So give it a go. Let us know what you think. If you have any questions, check the article or ask up on the comments.